Solomon's Vegas Adventures. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. We've got a good one for you today. Today, we're going to explore an abandoned gold mine out by Prim, the Coliseum Mine, and word on the street is there's still tons of gold there. So without further ado, let's explore that mine. So Coliseum Mine is located way out in the boonies, about 50 miles south of Las Vegas near Prim, and it's technically in California. So some history on the mine is that it was once the largest metallic mine in southeastern California with 9.5 million tons of gold reserves. At least that's what was calculated in 1989. But the mine was abandoned in 1993. And it's important to note that it was actually abandoned not because they ran out of ore. There was still a ton of gold left, and there still is a lot of gold there today. It's because the rules and regulations when it comes to mining in California were too strict for the owners of the mine, Lack Corporations, which raises some questions. But Lack Corporations abandoned the mine in 1993 and moved to Nevada, leaving behind literally tons of gold ore that has not yet been exploited. Now the geology of Coliseum Mine is super interesting too, because the ore bodies occur in rhyolite breccias that are 100 million years old that erupted and took in minerals from the Proterozoic granites and gneisses, as well as the limestones, shales, and quartzites present. So you've got highly altered hydrothermal deposits that are gold-bearing. And at Coliseum Mine, there are two main ways of getting the gold ore. The first is through a gold-silver alloy that occurs in veins there, called electrum, which is what you're looking at now. The second is through the mineral pyrite, which is referred to as fool's gold, but in this case, the pyrite actually has gold. Because of the nature of the hydrothermal deposit here at Coliseum Mine, gold ions actually get crystallized between layers of pyrite. So, in that fool's gold is real gold. Anyways, enough chit chat. Let's get to Coliseum Mine. So as previously stated, Coliseum Mine is located about 50 miles south of Las Vegas in California. So you're going to want to drive I-15 south all the way past Prim, past the California border, get off at the first exit in California, which is Yateswell Road. It'll be exit 291, and you're going to want to head west. And from there, it gets kind of complicated, but there are signs that will guide you. Just follow the Coliseum Road public access signs, and you'll be there. All right, guys, so we're up here where the hike to Coliseum Mine starts. You're looking at the Ivanpah solar power project. Um, and, you know, we made it partway up this road, and the rest of the road's pretty impassable. I don't have a 4x4 vehicle, so we're just going to hike to the top. And it's not far from here. It's only about two miles. So we've got Ubed, Isabel, and Alonzo with us today. Yo, yo, yo. On an episode of Solomon's Vegas hey, Adventures. Adventure. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Making our way up. Really gorgeous scenery out here. Take a look. Clark Mountain, 7,900 feet right there. And we're in these hills here at Coliseum Mine. Geologically, this place is really, really cool. It's a pretty steep climb. Can't drive up that, not in the car I have, so we're walking. Look at that view though. Across the valley to the Castle Mountains over there. Gorgeous. This is all Archean metamorphic and igneous basement rock. The view here is freaking amazing. You know, I'm busting my ass to get up here because we're on a time constraint. It's a little tough, but look at that view. Well, would you look at that? These are veins of muscovite. It's really shiny, almost looks like gold. Not gold though, muscovite, you can tell by its platy structure. And this guys is a huge, gorgeous specimen of that muscovite. There it is, guys. Coliseum Mine. You can see the tailings. I'm almost at the top of the pass. We're close. Huge tailings. It's a huge mine. Open pit. That was a tough climb, guys, but it's worth it. We're almost there. Let's get it. There's Coliseum, guys, getting to the bottom of the tailings. Just outside the pit of Coliseum Mine. Great views. Clark Mountain over there. You bed right there. Alonzo right there. Isabel right there. And, uh, you know, just nice place. Nice place. There she blows. Coliseum. All right, guys. So this one right here is a specimen of muscovite. It can be very easily confused as gold. So pyrite is fool's gold. But muscovite is just as foolishly gold, too, because it has a gold color and a really shiny luster. 
and when it has tiny crystals like this, it really looks like gold, but if you look closely, I looked under the hand lens, this is just muscovite. You know, it's not completely worthless because it's cool, but you know, it's muscovite, but we're not allowed to take any rocks here anyway, so just gonna leave them. Look at this cube of pyrite right here. That's super cool. Wow. Might not be the most visible, but there's gold here. There's gold in these rocks. This is legitimately gold. This isn't just muscovite, this is gold. And there's pyrite right there. The cubic boy. Oh my God. There's, there's actually gold here. And we're just in the tailings. Oh. There's so much pyrite here. Look at all that. Look at that. Boy, this is crazy. You can see the veins of it coming out of the quartz. And that, guys, that's legitimate gold. There's legitimately gold in here. Oh, my God. Clarification, when I say there's legitimately gold in here, technically I'm correct, but the mineral you're looking at is pyrite, FES2. It's just that the nature of this deposit is that that pyrite is gold-bearing. So technically there is gold in there, but it's not like you're looking at a gold vein. I was just kind of excited. Lamau. And this is like a really shiny, I mean, it's black and it's almost like rainbow-like. And this is one of the minerals, I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna have to do some research when I get home. This is the one that you're looking at. It makes like a rainbow color. More gold there. More gold there. This is crazy. We're about to, we're about to jump into the real mine. We're about to jump into the pit. I'm like a freaking kid in a candy store. Into Coliseum we go. Holy cow. This is a huge complex. Let's get down. Just a view into the bottom of the pit. Guys, this mine is huge. Look at that. Holy crap. And the pit, the, the pool is probably super deep. It probably doesn't even, oh my God, this mine is huge. Wow. Holy I'm sorry, I sound so giddy, but this is just crazy. This is crazy, guys. Wow. Look at this. This is huge. This Colosseum mine, guys. Wow. Look over here. We got ourselves some snow. There was a snowstorm a couple days ago. As I said, guys, still tons of gold in here. They left because California's tax laws are stricter and they moved to Nevada. Look at this. That's all gold. There's gold. It's hard to see in here, but they're tiny little specks. Can't even speak right. I'm so excited of gold. Holy shit, guys. Oh my God. Geologist wet dream. Really get your rocks off, huh? But seriously, there's still a lot of gold in here. Oh my God. That's gold. Those are specks of gold in that quartz. These are veins of gold. Look at that. Oh my God. This is just laying down in the mine. That's all, that's all gold. Holy cow. This one guys, this is a vein of electrum. So this is legitimately a gold vein. And the electrum here is a 1.5 to one gold silver ratio, which means it's 60% gold. So this is a legit vein of gold, not just gold bearing pyrite. Guys, this is so freaking cool. I'm down here in Coliseum Mine, as you can tell. It's an open pit mine. There's still gold. There is still gold on the walls of, of the freaking mine. It's crazy. When they abandoned it, they didn't abandon it because they ran out of resources. They abandoned it because the tax laws in California were too strict. So, wow. Now, there is a caveat. You can't take any of the gold here because we're in Mojave National Preserve. It's a national park. Well, it's run by the National Park Service. So before you come up here with your buckets and your pickaxes, you can't take any specimens. It's illegal. But if you want to see gold in the field and see veins of gold in the field, this is your spot. This is your spot, guys. Wow. So at the bottom of the mine here, the mine kind of acted like a wind funnel, I guess, because the wind was blowing super hard. And I'm just going to save you guys' ears and do a voiceover here. I'll voice over my soliloquy. So basically, I was saying this water pit, while it looks inviting, don't 
touch it. Don't jump in. Don't be dumb. I saw people on YouTube sticking their fingers in and toes and jumping in, and those people are idiots because this water is cyanide. So do not jump in. One of the ways that they isolate gold from the host rock is by bathing it in cyanide, which, you know, makes the gold leave the host rock through a chemical reaction, but the wastewater just gets put put in. So do not, I cannot stress, do not jump in that cyanide pond. That's Save yourself the trouble. Don't be stupid. And I mean, this mine, Colosseum mine, it is huge. Like, this is hundreds of feet deep. I know it's hard to see the scale without reference, but I would I would guess that this was at least 500 feet deep. And it's, it's, it's full with gold still. Like I said, guys, you know, when they abandoned it, they didn't abandon it because they depleted the resources. They abandoned it because they thought California's laws were too harsh. So... This is one of the best kept secrets, I think. And it's a great place to just have an adventure around Vegas. I mean, what hike can you go to a 500 foot deep old gold mine with gold still in it? It's crazy. I mean, guys, I'm speechless. I really am. It's just, this is such a cool place. This is a really cool place. I mean, you'll find gold. You'll see gold abandoned mine and not the dangerous kind. I mean, this is dangerous in its own right, but Going into abandoned mine like a tunnel or a shaft, hella dangerous. This though, this is crazy. This is the quintessential experience of Solomon's Vegas Adventures, guys, for real. Coliseum Mine. Probably one of the coolest spots I've been to on Solomon's Vegas Adventures. <sighs> wow. <laughs> the fact that there's still veins of gold in this mine. It's just, wow. Guys, holy cow. Making our way back to the car. It's gonna be a long hike, guys. It was a long hike to get up here because we don't have a four x four vehicle. I don't have a Jeep or a truck or anything. So we literally hiked up the dirt road. But <laughs> on the way home, that was Coliseum Mine. Look at this specimen right here, guys. This is a granite porphyry in that black. That's horn blend. Really cool horn blend, horn blend phenocryst in this porphyry. All right, y'all, so that was Coliseum Mine on another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Man, that was definitely an adventure. So if you like content like this, you know, exploring, history, geology, hiking, and all that, this is the channel for you, especially if you live in the 702. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, guys. Thanks for all your support. Peace.